So you can see um, in this situation, we're just about ready to extract uh, the solvent from the top. So uh, we get our solution chance to settle and uh, we now have our nice aqueous layer at the top. And uh, the trick is gonna be to be careful not to um, siphon up the um, base solution underneath the aqueous layer. So it's not too hard at first just to you know, get your first couple uh, siphons off the top here. It'll be a little harder to get it all the way down because you'll notice the meniscus starts, uh, although getting close to the layer, um, no matter how slow you siphon, it still will tend to chase. And there's a couple tricks uh, that you can do because no matter what, it's going to happen. So right now, I know that I'm pulling really clean pulls with absolutely nothing else except for the solvent. I guess I can see it. I can see it in there. It's not being uh, disturbed too badly. We're getting closer though. Oops. So let's push that back down. Try to be a little careful. I don't want to, it's a little early. So slowly fill the siphon. There we go. It's still clean. But the next one, maybe very slowly. So now at this point, it's kind of a losing battle. You're going to get some up there. So I'm going to push that out and just take this clean right here. And then I'm going to switch jars because we know that this is a very clean uh, extraction here. But what we're going to get next is um, some pulls that are some siphon that's going to definitely have some uh, plant material in it. And we're just going to go with it. We're just going to let it go ahead and collect and we're going to push it out in a second. We do know that it might, no matter what you pull and gets mixed up like this, will also settle. And uh, don't worry about it too much. Just go ahead and pull it up. I know that a lot of you are like, well, this is my last pull and I want to get all of it as much as I can. You can get it all the way down and to the point where you actually, you're getting like just a little bit left. So you're gonna continue to change jars and you'll end up with, you know, a situation where it's like this, which is, you know, obviously can't do anything over there. Just let that settle. You know, you're gonna be basically using this and you can see in the bottom of this, see those little specks right there underneath? That's some of that is just settled. So what we can do, take this right here. You want this nice and clean, right? So take this, just pour this into another jar. All right, now whatever was on the bottom over there, you see that how it's sticking to the bottom of the jar? It's so little that you don't have to worry about it. Now you get a nice clean jar of solvent and DMT with no impurities whatsoever. So you're good with that. So that, that's one way you can get a little separation out of it. Another way is to uh, get yourself a separation funnel, but I actually found that the uh, separatory funnels are almost a waste of time honestly i mean yeah i can let it settle but even though i separate it and it's still a process is always something mixed in the middle and i always end up with the same jar of the same thing this will probably not save you anything don't worry about getting one of those um unless you need to i don't know but i have not found a significant use to use that what i just showed you is a great way to do it another way is if you were to pour this out onto, because um, the next step is to pour this into a glass baking tray, right? And sometimes you'll see the same little black specks pour out with it. If you've poured the solvent out into a baking tray and you have the same black specks in the bottom of your baking tray, don't panic. If you can, pour it back into another jar, back into another tray, whatever you can do, but you'll notice that the same effect will happen in the bottom of the tray where you'll have those specks and they'll stay there. And if you just transfer it to another um, container, you can essentially continue to filter out what will settle to the bottom. So there's a, there's a little trick for you on how to um, settle, settle the difference. <laughs>